Hi guys, Paul from Warrior Tactical Systems. In this video, I want to show you a drill you can use to uh, work some of your fundamentals to, to really to work your art for entries of any type, uh, to work your basic boxing, all that sort of thing. Now, you should know some basic boxing before you do this drill, and I'm not going to teach you all the basic boxing. You can go out there, there's a lot of uh, uh, videos online. You know, you want to learn the basic punches of boxing, the basic defensive maneuvers of boxing very important to your development in whatever art you're doing because really whatever art you're trying to apply a boxer is a great thing to apply it against um, boxing is a very functional stand-up art uh, you know and Muay Thai is as well but it, it allows you um, all the lines against somebody that's really throwing them bringing them back it's not doing sloppy punches if you can apply it against a boxer you can apply it against a lot of people so uh, that's what we want to look at here this is a drill uh, my buddies, the Yaks Brothers, taught me years ago. They came back from an Eric Paulson seminar, so this might be uh, from Eric Paulson's stuff. Uh, but it's a really good drill, and I've used it for uh, to work a lot of different arts over the years. So it's a good way to work your entries. So if Greg comes in to help me out, <clears throat> the basic drill is we're going to be throwing some punches back and forth. We're just feeding each other these punches so we can work uh, some skills. So the first punch is a jab. So I'll... Well, Greg can come at me with a jab. Okay, and again, he's coming at proper distance. He's stepping in. He's aiming toward my head. But he's not trying to knock my head off. And I'm just working my basic boxing. I'm working parry, slip, whatever. Okay, and then I come at him with a jab. Same thing. Okay, now he steps in with a jab cross. Boom, boom. I'm working my basic defense, whatever I want to work that day. Okay, uh, <clears throat> now I come at him with a jab cross. Jab cross. Okay, whatever, just wait a little bit. Um, and then it's jab cross hook. So he throws a jab cross hook. Okay. I come at him with a jab cross hook. Okay. Now jab cross hook cross. Jab cross hook cross. I come at him with the same jab cross hook cross. Okay. And we're just working basic punches back and forth. Now <clears throat> this is a good opportunity to work your defense, uh, your mobility, your basics of boxing. But what we want to be able to do with this is use it to develop our timing on some entries. Okay? This is not quite sparring. He's feeding me these lines, but we're doing it with some aliveness. We're doing it with some movement. He's coming with the energy. He's aiming straight for the target. And you know we're trying to make it functional. Okay? So I'm going to take the gloves off just so you can kind of see a little bit what I'm doing here. Now, <clears throat> the nice thing about this is I can work it at my own pace. So if I want to work off a jab, say I want to work an entry off a jab, a split entry, um, I can do it off the initial jab. So he comes in with the jab, I can do a split here, I can hit to the body, hit to the head, whatever. <clears throat> now that's pretty easy because all I had to deal with was the jab. But what about when the cross is coming behind it? I gotta be aware of that. I gotta have that plan B principle where I'm aware of the next shot coming. So I wanna work that same split entry, but he's jab cross. I gotta be aware of that, ready for that, ready to defend that. Okay, however I go about that. So this allows me to work that way. Now, if I want to work off the cross, okay, let's say I want to, uh, so he throws me the jab cross, I can work off the cross here. Again, whatever type of entry, counter uh, you want to work, it's easy off the jab cross because I had nothing coming behind it. But when he throws the jab cross hook, jab cross, now I got to be ready for that hook, just like I would in a real fight. Just because I hit the guy doesn't mean he's going to magically fall down and be the end of the fight. We never want to assume that. Even if I cracked him in the groin, Okay, I want to assume he's on something, he's not feeling it, it's just not going to work for me. When it works in the fight, when he falls down, I'll be like, oh, that's great. But if I plan on him falling down and he doesn't, that's when I'm in trouble. So I always plan on, on following up with other things. Now, same concept for the last one. If I wanted to work off this hook, if he throws me a jab cross hook, okay, boom, well, that's easy. I could do a, you know, a lot of different things here, and I don't have to worry about that next punch coming. But when he throws the jab cross hook cross, jab cross hook, boom, I gotta time this. So that time I covered, I jammed his, his shoulder, and I come in with an elbow, okay, from Muay Thai. I gotta do that in the right timing, or I'm gonna get punched in the face with that cross, okay? So let's go slow. Jab, cross, hook, I come late, now he's throwing that cross, and I eat it because I didn't get my timing right. So this allows me to work that timing in an isolated fashion where I can. Um, you know, still be dealing with these other punches. And that becomes really important, especially, you know, when you come to the inside or depending on what kind of position you're in. So, you know, different arts you can work out of this. You can work, say, Kali. Let's say I want to jam arms, you know. If I'm parrying one, I want to jam this other one. 
uh, you know, before I, I make my entry or do whatever, whether it's the inside to here or whatever. Um, <clears throat> I can do that off the jab, so as he comes in with a jab, that's pretty easy. When he comes in off with the jab cross, I better time that right and get my distance to step in to cover that. You know, whether I'm working C-Law at a Kenjin or something, or just a check there, I need to time that right before it comes, okay? And the same way for your Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, if I want to work uh, some type of entry, again, I have to time it right. I'm coming, let's say, go ahead and jab cross hook, okay? I want to work off of this hook, come underneath, get in here and close up. You, you just got to get that, uh, a little bit of timing element involved. I know what's coming, it's a set pattern drill, but I still have to work my timing. So whatever art you want to work, this is a good uh, bridge towards sparring where I'm working it against those boxing punches, getting my timing down, and then when we go to sparring, when I have him just hit me and I try to close and, and you know enter whatever you know kind of counter I want to do, um, I'm going to have a lot better chance of pulling that off in sparring because I've worked a drill like this. Okay guys, so let me know what you think about that drill in the comments below and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, thank you.